Hey y'all, welcome to another Fit Women for Life workout. It's Nick with the Healthy Fat Loss Inner Circle. I'm here with Gabby today and we are going to show you the bombshell body weight workout. So obviously you don't need any equipment for this workout. All you need is yourself and a little bit of energy to keep up with us throughout the workout. So we're doing about 15 exercises. We're not gonna take any breaks in between the exercises unless you need to, of course. And then at the end, I'm gonna tell you how you can uh, make go a little bit longer, like do the workout either two times or three times if you have a little bit more time. It's gonna be about a seven or eight minute workout in and of itself. If you have 16 minutes, blah, 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 you can do it two or three. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and start it off here with 30 seconds of high knees. Go ahead and get started. So we have a combination of some timed uh, and counting reps, okay? So if you have just a clock nearby, you can keep up or just listen to me as we're going. I'll tell you when you're gonna transition. Our next exercise is gonna be up downs and we're gonna do 10 of those. We're gonna go ahead and finish off here. Uh, if you need to, you can go ahead and just march it out. You can kind of pick those knees up, good. Either way, we're staying really engaged in the core. You got your shoulders back strong, good. Five more seconds, we're gonna switch it to up downs. Three, two, good, let's switch it up. We're tapping the toes, we're fully extended up in the air. Go ahead and tap it up there, good. Just like a basketball shot as you're coming up. On the down portion, we're gonna keep a slight bend on your knees and then really big extension up there. Got it. Good job, let's do three more. We're gonna switch it to squats now. Good job, 10 up downs. Last one, good. So we got squat position now, we're doing 20 squats, all right? So notice how she's gonna drive back with their hips, hips, there we go. Keep all the weight through the heels, good. Keeping the chest completely pointed forward, core is engaged in there. Good, we got a good pace on this. Remember with your squat, as you drive back with your hips, you wanna search for that parallel point there we go, so it's just a matter sometimes of two inches or even one inch sometimes where you're gonna get a big difference in the effectiveness of your squat. All the weights driving through your heels there, perfect. Belly button's in strong, good job. Got a good pace on these squats, we got five more. We're gonna drop down to mountain climbers. Driving back there, good. Three more squats, we're gonna go to hands and toes. Good, last one, one more. Boom, let's drop it down to hands and toes. We're gonna keep this angle so we can watch the back on her. On um, Gabby, notice how she's keeping a good straight back, going out to the right, out to the left. Good, we're doing 10 of these on each side. I'm gonna have her drop to your knees after a couple more. Good job, let's drop to the knees so I can show you a little bit of modification on these. So if you are a little bit weak on your upper body, the mountain climber is gonna be tough for you to keep really optimal form. So coming to your knees will allow your upper body to strengthen up by performing a lot of these other awesome metabolic workouts that you can find on my channel. Uh, and then as you get stronger, you're gonna be able to perform a bunch of different variations of mountain climbers that I'll also show you in future workouts. Good job, we're gonna do four more here, two more on each side, four. Good, keeping that really straight back even though she's on her knees. Got it, go ahead and bring it back up. Good job, so we're gonna switch it to reverse lunges and we're gonna alternate them, all right? So we're gonna kick back, you're gonna drop straight down into a reverse lunge, good. Good job, I'm gonna have her face a little bit more towards the ear so you can get a good angle, a different angle, there we go. Got it. There we go, that's four. And now she can go ahead and face to the right so you can get some more in there, just get a different angle. Good, I really like this angle because this is a very important aspect of these lunges. I really like reverse lunges because usually when I see a lot of women performing the forward lunges, I see a lot of knee over toe movement and that's performing, that's, uh, so, so uh, <laughs> with the forward lunge, once the knee goes over, you're kind of putting a little bit of inflammation and excess tension on those knee ligaments and tendons. So you, you wanna definitely start performing the reverse lunges first so you get a good feel for keeping this front leg at 90 degrees, just like Gabby's doing, perfect. And so she got a little bit off balance there, but she regained her stability. And that's very important also when you're going down, you don't wanna try and lunge down in an unstable environment because that's also not very good for the knees. Good job, we're gonna do four more here. Got it. So we want to do 10 on each side of these, ideally. Good, we got a couple more. If you can, you can even go a little bit quicker as long as you're keeping that good form. We got one more on the opposite side. We're dropping down to push-ups. 
Good. Straight from this angle, go ahead and drop down right to push up position. We're doing just seven of these guys, all right? So if you can, of course, you can start on your toes and knock these out. We're going to go ahead and start on the knees. Notice a couple things with these. She's keeping her head very strong, even with her spine. Her, her uh, motion is leading with her chest. That is ideal right there. Two more. Chest leads the motion. Good. Got it. Let's bring it back up. We've got 30 seconds of high knees again. We're going to get that heart rate back up. Get them up, good. We're gonna start with some good high knees here. We're gonna switch to marching it out. If you need to go right to marching out, you can if you're not ready for the high knees yet. But you should be able to perform all of these exercises even with slight modifications to get that bombshell body. <laughs> So this is another Pinterest workout that I created that I'm showing you exactly how to perform each exercise, the quick transitions, and how to get the most from each of these workouts. Couple more, almost done. Good, three, two, we're going back to push-ups now. We're about halfway through this first round. Go ahead and knock out seven push-ups, good. Leading with the chest, you want to stay really strong in the middle there. So we're just going to show you one round of this bombshell bodyweight workout. I have on there, if you can do it, to another round and make it about a, almost a 20 minute workout. Good. Did you get seven of those? Perfect. Let's bring it back up. Back to reverse lunges. Alternate them out. I guess I can't count and talk at the same time, but she's got me covered. So <clears throat> drop it straight down. Good. Really good angle here. Watch that front leg. It's at 90 degrees. The back leg's also at 90. Let's jump to her upper body. Good, strong upper body. Belly's in tight. Good. She's got a good, nice rhythm here. Focusing on getting really stable before she goes down into the lunge. Everything's really functioning perfectly. I have a video showing you the checkpoints of the split stance lunge, which is very similar, stationary here. We can get all the checkpoints and make sure you're biomechanically doing everything perfectly. All right, let's do two more here. We're going to drop back down to mountain climbers. We have about six more exercises to go. This will be our last one. Boom. Let's drop down hands and toes, mountain climbers. Get a couple on your toes, then we'll go ahead and drop to the knees. Good. I like to do these slow pace so you can really feel your core engaging. Do one more and then drop to the knees and finish off. Good. So a lot of times when, those, when women start mountain climbers on the toes, you wanna, they try and go really fast and that throws off the entire kinetic chain. Your butt comes up in the air, your core disengages. It's better to first get the mountain climber down. You, if you can perform 15 reps on each leg in perfect form, then you're probably strong enough in your upper body where you can really knock these out. Let's get a couple more. Good, good, let's bring it up. We're going to squat jumps now. So we're gonna get in the squat position. You're gonna drive your hips back and you're gonna jump it on up. Go ahead. Boom, we're gonna do 10 of these guys, boom. So we're gonna keep the arms really tight because a lot of times throwing those arms up will inhibit the movement. We're gonna stay low, keep the weight through the heels there, good. Perfect, notice that good rhythm here. All of her weight's driving back through her heels. Her upper body who's, is just as important as keeping that really engaged as the lower body. Last one, go back down to mountain climbers. We do have another set of squat jumps right after this and we'll do the same thing. We'll do five jumps and five pulses. You can see the difference. If you can't jump yet or you're afraid to, it's no problem. Any exercise can be modified. If you need extra help, just comment below and I'll help you out. So notice on the mountain climbers here, she started on the knees, getting a little bit fatigued, but she's keeping her chest over her thumbs. Even the mountain climber, which you normally would start on the toes, you can modify You'll get stronger, eventually you'll be able to knock them all out on your toes, no problem. Keep that belly button in tight, good, let's do four more, we're going to pop it back up for squat jumps. Got it, three, and two, one more, got it, let's go ahead and bring it on up, we've got ten squat jumps again. We'll do five squat jumps and finish off with pulse and then we have two more exercises after that. Boom, five, four, got it. Good, last one, go ahead and pulse it out for the rest of the five. Good, either way, she's really getting those hips back, she's keeping the weight through the heels. Good, strong in the middle, last one, good. We're going down to push-ups now, we got 10 push-ups. We're ending the workout, this first round for some of you with high knees. We got 10 push-ups here, again with the push-ups from earlier. I noted that Gabby, Gabby was leading with her chest, she's still doing that. As you start getting tired and you want to compensate, you might want to jut your head forward. You do not want to jut your head forward. It promotes forward head posture and it will tighten up your neck muscles 
and it won't let you work the right muscles in. I mean, why else are you working out, all right? So we got high knees for 30 seconds. Go, let's get them up there, got it. We'll get them up for half the way and then we'll march it out the rest. Good, so this is the this is the bombshell body bait workout. If some of you are doing another round, go ahead and just finish out these high knees. Start the video over when we started exercising. Good, we're halfway, got it. And uh, you can do another round for two. If you, wanna, if you have about 30 minutes, you can go ahead and do three rounds of this with just a one minute break after these high knees. Last couple here. Good, three, two, awesome job. That was the bombshell body weight workout. Again, if you have some more time, go ahead and go through it one more time or two more times. But that should, for many of you, is a great workout that will boost your metabolism, get your body ready for a little bit more intense workouts. If you want some more intense workouts and more workouts like this body weight workout, click the link below this video and every week I'm gonna send you an awesome free metabolic workout just like the one you just saw with Gabby and I. I will see you in the next video.